Hey guys, so in case you're wondering why I'm wearing these ears, it's because I'm basic. Well, I'm not sure whether they make me basic or a weeb, but I don't even watch anime, nor do I condone it. I'm actually on my way to an event where I promise this is appropriate. I do have a life, I'll let you know, outside of YouTube. Thank you. So there's this argument common within social justice circles and what I like to call the blacktivist circles that the United States, specifically white citizens within the United States, need to pay reparations to black people for slavery. And last September, even the United Nations came out and said that the U.S. should be paying reparations to black people for slavery. And I know you guys are having the flashbacks. You owe me some money. Mm -hmm. Okay, you owe me reparations. You owe me some money. Mm -hmm. Okay, you owe me reparations. So let's dissect this. To my understanding, the argument is that black people were never truly compensated upon being freed from slavery and that even after slavery, there were things like segregation and Jim Crow laws. And therefore, there's never been any real monetary reconciliation for black folks. Number one, I have to say this, and I know it's going to be redundant to most of you, but people will really hop on me if I don't say it. Slavery was a huge blight on American history. It's very tragic. And the black experience in America for the over overwhelming majority of the time that blacks have been in America has been pretty brutal. Having said that, I do not believe in collective guilt. I believe in individualism, which sometimes entails individuals being punished for their actions, but their actions alone. I, as a white person, am not responsible for the sins of my ancestors in the same way that I'm not responsible for their triumphs and their successes. If I can't take credit for white men walking on the moon, I damn sure I'm not going to take credit for slavery. What this really boils down to is a proposition to take the money away from people who are never slave owners and give it to people who are never slaves. That's the reality of it once you remove all the emotional hoopla. Not that slavery is not an emotional topic, because once again, it is a blight on American history, but that is what it is history. And in my opinion, the window of time in which monetary reconciliation would have and should have happened has long since passed. Furthermore, contrary to very popular belief, slavery wasn't as simple as the whites owned the blacks. About 1.4% of Americans at the height of slavery owned slaves. That's a very small amount of people. It is highly unlikely that you or I have ever met anyone who's a descendant of a slave owner. There just weren't that many. And so the reality of reparations would be that 99% of the white people paying reparations would have no blood relation to a slave owner whatsoever. And 100% of the people they're going to pay reparations to were never slaves. So... Another little known fact is that during slavery, there were actually a few thousand recorded black slave owners, free black slave owners. So do we track down their ancestors and make them pay reparations to their own race? And obviously at the height of slavery, the vast majority of the slaves were black and the vast majority of slave owners were white. It's still important to note that slave owning wasn't exclusive to white people. It was exclusive to rich people. And there were also a lot of white slaves. That's something people don't talk about. But in the 1600s, white slaves actually outnumbered black slaves. Two thirds of the whites that came to the colony in the 1600s were brought in as slaves. Do they get reparations? And again, I am not trying to minimize the atrocities faced by black people specifically in American history. However, all of this is worth stating that it's not a black and white issue. No pun intended. And also, what about Africans that immigrated here post-slavery that don't descend from slaves at all? What about white people who immigrated here post-slavery who don't descend from slave owners? Another thing, should individuals seeking compensation look toward the African tribes who sold their ancestors? Because although the U.S. was absolutely complicit in the slave trade, as in they purchased them, it was the African tribes themselves that enslaved them and then sold them. In my mind, these are questions that absolutely need answers if you're going to propose reparations, and I've never seen anyone answer them. World history is chock full of violent, atrocious, cruel acts and events, and part of the human experience since the very beginning has been suffering at the hands of other humans. My view on slavery, however, as with any other historical monstrosity, is that we should look at them as lessons to be learned, not as opportunities for handouts, which honestly, a lot of the times does a lot more to hurt people than help them. But I understand that's a different conversation for a different time. And if there were a single slave owner and or a slave alive today, I think my views on this would be quite different. However, that's not the case. And it's quite a slippery slope to begin enforcing people to start paying reparations for the sins of their ancestors. If that's the case, if that's the door we're gonna open, everyone's gonna be paying everyone. 
Anyway, I look forward to all the conversations and or mental breakdowns that are sure to occur in the comment section of this video. But before I go, before I go, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. That to me is unbelievable, unexpected, amazing talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. And what do we do to celebrate? I want to hear from you guys what I should do. Maybe I should do something special in the live show, which will be the Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific, because obviously I want to do something for you guys. Uh, I'm not posting feet pictures. The foot fetish people, I know you were already typing your comments. Leave me alone. So let me know your thoughts, and I will see you guys next time.